Hi, this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions, and um, this is Junk Journal January, and I kind of got behind on some of my um, prompts, but um, so Junk Journal January is hosted by Meg Journals and in collaboration with Get Messy Art, and I've already done, as far as YouTube, I've done resolutions and quotes. But on Instagram, um, I have videos for, I think, Throwback Tuck Spot and Daily Log, if you wanted to go check those out. And I'll show you in here, just like a flip through of the third, fourth, and fifth. And then I'm going to do Memory and Stitch, which is the sixth and seventh. I'll do that, like, create that. So for, let's see, that was quote. So for throwback, what I did, um, I just chose like my graduation year, like the year 1993, that was the year I graduated and I took my yearbook photo and I used it as my throwback picture. And in here I included, uh, this was the picture that was inside my yearbook and they spelled my name, my first and last name incorrectly, but they got it correctly on the outside of the yearbook and that was what the yearbook looked like. But um, also in 1993, I just included uh, some of the things that took place. Um, the 42nd president, Bill Clinton, was sworn into office. Uh, Jurassic Park was the number one movie. Um, I got my first job at McDonald's. <laughs> I don't miss that. Janet Jackson was one of the biggest pop stars. And, um, and this just basically tells about how I was kind of insulted in how they misspelled my name wrong first and last name incorrectly but they got it correct on the cover so but that was throwback and that was for the third and then on the fourth it was tuck spot and I created a little tuck spot with I had a die cut fence that I had made a couple years ago actually and I added it to some acetate and then I just added some little stickers and the word inspire and it's clear and see-through so there's a tuck spot there and then um, we've got this little tag here double-sided and it just slides down in there and then I did some stamping um, on this envelope this envelope uh, behind here I had actually purchased off Etsy probably four years ago I'm not even real sure and then uh, the image of this lady I had gotten from, oh goodness, what was her name? I'll have to look it up. I've had that for like three or four years as well. <laughs> so, um, so I just cut, I fussy cut her out and then added her on here. And then um, you have your tuck spot back here. And then the, this is a tuck spot. And then I just had this little guest check. Uh, journaling log or journal spot where you can add stuff. I just took like scraps of paper um, and an embossing folder or an embossed piece of paper. Did some stitching and it's double sided. Just added some scraps. This was from a staples bag and just kind of added some cheesecloth, stickers, stamps, just little things like that. And then this tucks here and then there's also a little tuck spot down inside here. So that's that. I'm going to tuck that back down in here. And then daily, uh, daily log was number five. And I'm not much of a journaler. Or I don't really write a whole lot, but I just wanted to put something on there. <laughs> so I just took a little piece. The, the leftover piece that came from this folder, this envelope, is what I put here. And just, I just stamped it, added daily log, um, just added this little label holder or whatever it is add the word remember have a nice day i made this cluster a few years ago i think <laughs> and then i just added a little stamping here and then just put remember to get your rest and then i just added this four and a half number that i had stamped and embossed heat embossed and then so yeah number five so now we are on six and seven uh, memory and stitched and basically all I did was just kind of gathered up some stuff that I had gotten from 
various people over time, some of my crafty friends. So memory, I'm just using this, It's I'm just remembering the stuff that I've gotten from different people. Um, this right here, I think, came from Deb Montaigne. She's in Junk Journal Tutorials Facebook group. Um, she sent this to me all the way from Australia. <laughs> uh, these right here are scraps from my Defember Remember partner, Michelle Garnta. Uh, let's see. This is some scraps of my own. These and this, I think, had came from Tiana. Uh, let's see. This came from Michelle Garnta. This actually came from, oh, goodness, I forgot her name. <laughs> I, if I don't mention your name, I'm not being mean. I just don't remember every, every single person I've received things from. And this one was from Brenda. She's from Junk Donald Tutorials uh, Facebook group. Um, I think this is Tiana, Brenda. Brenda, I think this is Delicia, Brenda, um, let's see, I think this is from Jennifer, these are from Fam, Livy's Lovelies, Delicia, we're baking and crafting meat, um, not sure where this one came from. This one was also, I think, from Tiana. And these also... This came... Oh, I don't remember. But I know that I think this came from Leah. This might have came from Leah as well. But um, anyway, I just wanted to mention some of them because I have other stuff from other people that I haven't used yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had time to like make videos and use a lot of the stuff that I've gotten from a lot of different people. But we're going to go ahead and try to um, get this in. So I think what I'll do for my setting for memory. And this individual lady, it looks like she's sitting there and she, even though she's looking in the mirror, it looks like she's kind of in deep thought, like she's remembering stuff. So I'm going to cut her out. And she's going to be the focal point of memory. It's like she's remembering something from the past. You know, she's in deep thought, thinking about family, friends, what she has to do, what's coming up. You know, things that we all go through. And she's looking in the mirror, but just because you're looking in the mirror doesn't mean you're actually looking at yourself. You could actually be looking at, like, visually, mentally, looking at other things in life. So the way her expression is, to me, that makes it look like she's kind of like, mm, I don't know, I wonder what they'll think, how will they feel, what can I do, that kind of look, that's the expression that she kind of gives me when I see her uh, picture. So we're going to use her, and we're going to create like a little setting, and I'm just going to literally just add some stuff on her.
stitched with the old book pages, different layers, memory, and touch spot here, touch spot back here, and then there's a touch spot right there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos, blog, and social media sites, and um, thanks for watching.